Hi and welcome back to another video in our Grand Stream GCC 6010 series where we're setting up the GCC 6010 convergence device. In the previous video we set up the internet access to it and also set up the basic LAN access as well so, so for our local network. So in this video what we're going to be doing is setting up our VoiceOver IP telephone account, otherwise known as a SIP account. So that's Session Initiation Protocol, it stands for. So we're setting it up our trunk line. So our SIP trunk line with our VoiceOver IP telephone provider. And as you can see on screen at the moment, this is going to be VoIP phone. So the website address for this is www.voipphone.com co.uk as you can see for this video we'll just be setting up the VoIP phone account you also need to know that you need to select one that can supply trunk lines because you will need a trunk line going into your GCC box so that it can handle the PBX facilities for example calls between extensions and call blocking call allow lists and so on because your box will handle all that so all you need is a trunk line and voice over ip provide free trunk lines so they don't charge any extra for this so what we're going to do to set up our voice over ip so our voip phone account is click on the 30 day free trial and this takes us into the voip phone plans so as you can see, we've got the 30 day free trial available for VoIP phone 100, 500, 1000 and unlimited. Now this means you get 100 minutes of calls, 500 minutes of calls, 1000 or unlimited. So for the free trial, we'll go with VoIP phone 100, which is five pounds per month. And that gives you one telephone line and this will mean that we have one trunk line coming in with the publicly available number we'll select 30 day free trial for VoIP phone 100 at five pounds per month shopping basket VoIP phone 100 trial has been added to your basket so what we'll do is click checkout now what we need to do is set up a new account so what we'll do new customers create the VoIP phone account is I'll go ahead, enter the email address and password to set up the new account. And I'll create a password and select the robot tick box and click create my account. So now it's fetching account details. And as you can see, welcome to VoIP phone. Your account number is whatever. And you can see we've got the account number at the left hand side. My plan, 100 trial, zero numbers, contact details and paying today 50p and then the monthly charge is six pounds so it's five pound plus the 20 percent vat so what we'll do is go on select next choose your plan so what we'll do next is select our telephone numbers so what we'll do is select a national number so this is 033 in the uk or we'll say 030 so they are three pounds per month as you can see uk local so we'll select the area or we can select 0207 for the london area however there's a 150 pound number set up fee for those because they're premium rate numbers so what we'll do is see if we could choose 0843 numbers they are three pounds per month so what we'll do is select our 033 national numbers and they are three pounds per month so we'll choose a number however this will be deleted so you won't be able to call try to call me on this so this is just for testing purposes so you'd select your telephone number and select next for your details and then what you do is enter the billing and account user details so I'll just go ahead and do this. I'll obviously blank it out while I'm doing this. Agree to the terms. Select next for the order summary, which is VoIP phone 100 trial. That's free. 
and then the non-geographic number which is three pounds per month a uh, new card fee which will be refunded immediately so this is just an automatic card fee and then the refund for free plan number so all we're being charged today is 50 pence and then for the recurring charge it will just be six pounds per month after that so what we'll do is go ahead and pay this so now that we've set up our voiceover ip telephone account with VoIP phone what we'll do in the next video is we'll get the account set up in our GCC 6010 PBX application and we'll also link the WP816 Wi-Fi cordless telephone to our GCC box as well so we'll do that in the next video so thanks for watching this video hope you're finding this series useful take care of yourself bye for now